One thing that connects us, meaning you, me, and just overall the community here on YouTube, is photography. At least that is what most of my channel is about. I assume you do photography and think about it a lot, however, have you actually ever asked yourself what exactly photography is for you? I've thought about this question every now and then, and even spoken to some friends about it, but I've still never really come to a conclusion. When I think of photography, I know what it is and what it means for me, however, I have yet to put that feeling of knowing it into words. So this video is my attempt to collect my thoughts, reflect on photography, and come up with an explanation for what photography is for me. Interestingly, in the conversations I've had, I noticed how strongly individual the answer to this question is. Everyone has their own unique connection or even relationship to photography, and that is what I find so fascinating about this question. I love individuality, especially in people, and therefore I want to share my thought process with you in this video and encourage you to ask this question yourself, and in the comments below, share your unique perspective on what photography is for you. So, let's begin on the surface level with a broad separation of the two ways of interacting with photography. I believe this is a split into the perspective of the photographer and the viewer. I find it necessary to divide these because I think the way of interacting with photography differs for each side. On one side, as a spectator, we look at photography, analyze it, and try to make sense of what we see. This can be clear, but just as much pretty unclear or confusing. What is it we look for in photography? Is it the satisfaction in seeing a well-composed and balanced photo? Is it the joy we get from appreciating certain colors or color palettes? Or is it something less visual, such as the story a photograph tells or an impression it gives as a whole? After thinking about this for me personally, I came to notice that it's a bit of everything, but with one aspect that stands out. I do appreciate a balanced composition, beautiful fitting colors, or a story in a photograph, however, I've realized that these factors are actually secondary to me. I seem to find the most photographic pleasure in pictures that evoke a feeling. Which feeling specifically isn't so important. Common feelings I often have when photographs reach me on that level are nostalgia, comfort, a sense of adventurousness, love, and calmness. For me personally, a photograph impacts me the strongest when it touches me on this level, meaning it evokes a feeling when I look at it. And this really brings me joy when looking at photographs. Not only do they create a feeling, but they imaginatively transport me into the world pictured. It's this combination of escapism into the world of the photograph and the feeling I get from entering it. So as a viewer of photography, I'm basically just searching for the next world to enter. However, to achieve that immersion, a photograph needs to align many aspects, which only then, when they are all balanced in a captivating way, can produce the immersive power that is necessary. On the contrary, let's dive into the perspective of the photographer. One of the first questions that came to my mind when thinking was, who do you photograph for? Do you do photography for the masses, for a certain niche audience, or simply for yourself? Broadly, this can be divided in photography for external values, such as documentation of people, communities and events, or wedding couples, etc., and photography for internal value, with which I mean photography simply for yourself. I firmly believe that each side have their own right to exist and do not judge one worse or better than the other. I personally do photography for myself, so I'll continue the thought process on this side. To further explore what photography is for me, I think it makes sense to consider the question about the intention. I've actually done a whole video before, not so long ago, on the intentions in photography. In case you haven't seen it and want to check it out, it's linked in the description. My conclusion in that video is still applicable to my current views. One word that describes my intentions is self-fulfillment. Let me just briefly revise what I meant in that video, because self-fulfillment is a pretty vague description. My conclusion was that I do photography for myself, either for documentation purposes or to create pictures that evoke feelings. So here clearly lies a connection between the viewer and photographer, seeing as I seem to want to create as a photographer what I like to see as a viewer. This might seem fairly obvious to some, but I believe for many photographers this is not the case, therefore I just wanted to explicitly mention that. 
So from the photographer's point of view, I aim to document and create photography to feel. On the search for the answer to what photography is for me, I also decided to consider in general what photography is all about. I remember a friend of mine once said that photography is the process of seeing your surroundings, adding four borders to it and making it look beautiful. Although I don't particularly agree to this, it's these types of sentences that summarize photography which I find quite interesting because they quite precisely describe a unique personal view on this topic. Therefore, I searched for some more such sentences and found quite a few actually. Similar to what my friend told me, Gary Wienogrand, an American street photographer from the mid-20th century, once said this. Photography is about finding out what can happen in the frame. When you put four edges around some facts, you can change those facts. I also found a pretty different perspective by Ansel Adams, who once said, Photography is more than a medium for factual communication of ideas. It's a creative art. Another one I personally find intriguing is a quote by Diane Arbus. A photograph is a secret about a secret. The more it tells you, the less you know. I find this quote to be pretty cryptic and don't really understand it, but I have an attempt of an interpretation. What she possibly means with this is that photography is just a mere glimpse into what it is showing you. Considering what kind of photography Diane Arbus did, my assumption is that she means that the photographs tell you many things and give you lots of hints on what to read in the photograph, but in the end it's a secret of a secret and you're not going to find out the whole story. Secrecy is the act of hiding information, so she is saying that photography is hidden information of hidden information. And the more hints it gives you, the more it confuses you and the less you will understand it. I have no idea if I'm anywhere close to what she was trying to express, but that's the conclusion I came to after breaking the quote down a little. What do you think? I spoke to a friend about this quote and he introduced me to Susan Sontag's criticism on this quote. She criticizes Arbus' work in general and refers to this quote, but diving into that would lead us off of the path of this video, so I'll skip that for now. I just wanted to mention it in case you're interested, I'll leave some information in the description. I would like to show you one more quote, this one being from Steven Pinker, who is actually a psychologist. He once said this, Photography is a kind of virtual reality, and it helps if you can create the illusion of being in an interesting world. I wanted to read this one to you because I resonate with it. If you know my usual photography work, you will know that it is rather imaginative and staged. I look for scenes which I don't hesitate to alter or contribute to by staging myself in it. Especially with the flexibility of digital photography, I tend to add to this joy in free creation in post-production sometimes. I think this way of photography I enjoy is quite close to what Steven Pinker describes in his quote. I try to create this virtual reality he speaks of and ideally make it interesting in any way. So, I think I've collected my thoughts and I've gone through multiple aspects of this question and now I want to understand what photography is for me personally. I'm having difficulties to find a way of expressing my two main sides of photography in a single definition which counts for both. The one side being casual life documentation and the other being the more expressive staged photography side. When referring to the documentary side, I believe photography is an extension and support for my memory to freeze a moment in time and capture my emotional state in that moment. My goal I hope to achieve with these photos is to have the possibility to revisit moments in my life, which I truly appreciated but are just not so memorable that they would stay with me forever. Thanks to the photographs, I can remind myself of the small moments of appreciation, like this frozen yogurt I recently had, which are memories I'm afraid to lose. I don't really mean absolute loss of this memory, but if I don't have something to remind me of that moment, I'll probably not think about it again, which I find would be quite sad. On the other side of photography I like to embrace, I believe photography for me is a medium to create atmospheres, stories, feelings and visual satisfaction. Additionally, the act of it is calming, meditative, and it's a creatively fulfilling activity. So, finally, in conclusion, to sum up everything, I think my answer is the following. 
Photography is, for me, a fulfilling process of finding, capturing and creating, which results in a visual medium that can carry memories, feelings and creative expression. I'll probably not be content with this conclusion in a couple months because I might get some new thoughts by then, however, this is what I've come up with for now. I think this summarizes rather decently and precisely what I believe photography is for me. So what about you? That's it for this week. I hope you found it interesting to listen to my thought process and enjoyed this video. I would gladly read through your thoughts, so please feel free to write them down and post them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like, it helps me and the channel to grow. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and I'll hopefully see you again next week in the next video. Until then, goodbye.